Southern District of Illinois federal judge Stephen McGlenn issues preliminary injunction against the Illinois gun and magazine ban. We're going to dive into some of these details, but before doing so, please be sure to subscribe to this channel if you support the Second Amendment and wish to see additional updates. Also, talk to each other in the comment section so we can disseminate information. So, here we go. I'm sure you're aware that back in January of this year, 2023, the state of Illinois enacted the Protect Illinois Communities Act into law. The proponents of the Protect Illinois Communities Act cited the Highland Park tragedy as an impetus for passing the law. That law placed sweeping restrictions and outright bans on the sale, purchase, manufacture, delivery, importation, and possession of many firearms, magazines, attachments, stocks, and grips. Protect Illinois Communities Act was immediately challenged as unconstitutional. I'm sure you're aware of that as we discussed it in many videos here on this channel. Here's what the judge had to say. As Americans, we have every reason to celebrate our rights and freedoms, especially on Independence Day. Can the senseless crime of relative few be so despicable to justify the infringement of constitutional rights of law-abiding individuals in hopes that such crimes will then abate or at least not be as horrific? More specifically, can the Protect Illinois Communities Act be harmonized with the Second Amendment of the United States Constitution and with Bruin? That is the issue before this court. The simple answer at this stage in the proceedings, and I quote, is likely no. The Supreme Court in Heller and Bruin held that citizens have a constitutional right to own and possess firearms and may use them for self-defense. Protect Illinois Communities Act seems to be written in spite of the clear directives in Bruin and in Heller, not in conformity with them. Whether well uh, intended, brilliant, or arrogant, no state may enact a law that denies its citizens rights uh, that the constitutional constitution, excuse me, guarantees them. Even legislation that may enjoy the support of the majority of its citizens must fail if it violates the constitutional rights of fellow citizens. For the reasons fully set out below, the overly broad reach of the Protect Illinois Communities Act commands that the injunction relief be requested by plaintiffs be granted. Folks, this is a war of attrition and it's not over yet. We know that the Illinois Supreme Court will be debating this topic here in just a few days in the month of May. I would encourage you to continue supporting entities such as this one and many others throughout the state of Illinois that are fighting on behalf of uh, gun owners and the constitutional rights of Illinoisans and support the entities uh, on a nationwide level that are bolstering our Second Amendment rights. You know, this is a, um, an endless fight. It shouldn't be, but we know that it is. So please continue to stand with us by, of course, supporting this channel and all those entities. By the way, the tube just continues to erase subscribers. Sometimes one, two, three, four hundred subscribers just disappear like thin air. If you had previously subscribed, please double check to make sure that you still are. And if you're not, please do so right now. And of course, support my friends, the sponsors of my shows. They help keep things going, allows me to produce this content, keeping you informed. You'll see a link in the comment section pinned. You can click on it or in the description for free, it's 100% free, 2023 Gun Laws Guide. You click on it, submit your email, it'll be sent to you instantly. A great wealth of knowledge from my friends. And uh, of course, again, it kind of helps keeps things going, keeping you informed. It's nothing is better than free as of that point. Folks, I would encourage you to also seek out IPAC Instructor, IPAC Instructor across all social media. If you're on it, there's a good chance I am as well. Let's connect elsewhere, IPAC Instructor. Also on Rumble and on Twitter, IPAC Instructor, 
where I can kind of do a bit more things that I can't do on the other more popular sites. Uh, please connect with me there as I begin to cultivate and grow that. We know that sometimes some of the entities such as Facebook and the tube might just give you a smack and you disappear, right? So I appreciate you. I love you. I thank you. Your support has been awesome, folks. May God bless you and keep you. And let's continue this fight for our constitutional rights. And as always, remain safe.